Hi everyone, and welcome back to how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In this episode, we will look at how we can create and use tile maps and tile sets to create a world for our player to explore. But first, we're going to fix an error I overlooked the last time. When we play our game, we go down to the debugger, we get a lot of errors from the update animation function. This is because sometimes when we stop the animation player, it's actually not running. So to fix this, I add a new if statement that checks if the animation player is running before we stop it. If we play the game again, we can see that this fixed our problem. Now, let's get working on tile maps. We go into our world scene and add a tile map node to the root. In the inspector menu, we can see that the tile set for the tile map is currently set to be empty. So we click where it says empty, select new tile set and click where it now says tile set. This opens the menu for our new tile set in the bottom of the screen. And now it's time to import the art for our tile map. In the Ninja Adventure folder, I go to background and then tile sets. There is a lot to choose from here, but in this episode I will be using the floor tile set and the nature tile set. So I select these two, drag them into our Godot project, and then I place them in our art folder. I will be using the floor tile set first, so I click and drag it into the menu for our new tile set. We are then asked if we want the new tiles in the atlas to be automatically created. When we click yes, this divides the whole image we just added into 16 by 16 tiles that are now ready to be used. Now we will be creating the first background layer for our tile map. In the inspector menu we locate the layers properties. Here we find the default layer that was created with the tile map. I will just name this ground for now, to make it easier to keep track of the layers later on. To edit the tile map, we then click where it says tile map at the bottom of the screen. At the top right of this menu, we can select what layer we want to edit. At the moment, we just have the one layer, so it just says ground. Let's start by painting the ground with this green tile. Click on the tile, then on the rectangle tool, and then click and drag from one corner of the viewport to the opposite side to create a green background. And now let's run our game and see what it looks like. Okay, now it's green. It's really, really green. But maybe it could be nice with some sort of grass tiles here and there. Maybe a random selection of these four tiles. To draw a tile from a set of tiles, we first select all the tiles we want to choose from. Then we click the place random tiles icon, which looks like a dice. When we have this dice selected, we can also define a scattering probability. We will get back to this in a minute, so for now, let's just leave it at zero. Okay, so still with the rectangle tool selected, we paint the background again like we did before. And now we can see that the whole layer is filled with randomly placed grass tiles. I think this is a bit too much grass. I still want a fair amount of the green tiles around. So I undo these changes, and now let's edit the scattering probability. This is the probability that nothing will be drawn. I want a fair amount of the green tiles, so I set the scattering to 0.7, but feel free to play around with this value until you find something you like. This scene is still a bit dull, so let's add some flowers and trees. These are in the other tileset image we found earlier. So we click where it says tileset in the bottom of the screen. Then we click and drag the nature tileset into the menu to set it up. Let's start by creating a new layer for foliage. Go to the layers properties in the inspector menu and click add element to create a new layer. I'm calling this foliage, though I think I misspelled it here. Oh well. To add tiles to our new layer, we then first go back to the tile map menu and select the new foliage layer. I then select the tile I want to draw, select the draw tool and add a few flowers to the scene. Let's also add some of these sunflowers the same way. And now I think it's time to add some trees. Let's go back to the inspector menu and create a new layer for our trees. Remember to give the layer a name that will be easy for you to recognize in the future. Then we go back into the nature tileset and zoom in on the tree we want to use. At the moment our tree is divided into four separate tiles. 
We could of course place a tree using these four tiles, but this can easily create a big mess later on. So instead we want the tree to consist of just one single tile. Delete three of the tree tiles by right clicking on them and selecting delete. Now click the select button and then the last tree tile to select it. We want to increase the size of the tile, so we go to the property named size in atlas and set both x and y to 2. Now we have the whole tree included in one single tile. So let's go back to the tile map menu, select our new tree layer and then select the tree tile and place it a few places in our scene. At the moment our tree is centered around one tile. It's not really aligned with our grid in the same way as it would have been if it was made from four separate tiles. Whether you want it to be like this or not is entirely up to you, but I really want the tree to be placed in four tiles like these four. To fix this, we need to go back to the tileset menu, make sure that the tree is selected, and then open the rendering properties and edit the texture offset. Please note that this is called texture origin from beta 17 and forward. I then set x to minus 8 and y to 8. We can instantly see that this moves this blue square in the tile, which represents the origin of the texture. The trees are also instantly updated in the tile map in our scene, and when we place new trees in our scene, we can also easily see the difference. And now we've created the very first little tile map for our game. Walk around a bit and enjoy your work. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you want more content like this. In the next episodes, we will look into Y sorting and animated tiles. Bye!